A Springfield small business destroyed after catching fire last night. Despite a quick response by firefighters, today we're seeing the extent of the damage. Firefighters spent more than six hours on scene checking nearby stores, and now those neighboring businesses are also dealing with the cleanup. Color 10's Carissa Codell is outside the strip mall on Campbell after speaking with business owners and witnesses. Yeah, even though the flame started here at the 611 convenience store and it was contained here just two doors down at the Cornerstone Jewelry Store, it was filled with smoke. Hey, it smells like barbecue, uh, which is fortunate, but everything is safe. Um, all we're really dealing with is just smoke. Just after 1030 Wednesday night, the 611 store in a strip mall on South Campbell Avenue went up in flames. By the time we got here, everything was down. You could just see the smoke that was kind of still just billowing out. But Louisa Smith owns the Cornerstone Jewelry Store two doors down from 611. It's every business owner's worst nightmare. She says luckily her business only had some minor smoke damage. And we had to kind of scrub the cases to get all that film, the smoky film off. Smith says despite the fire next door, she was able to fully open her store today. Oh, we've got the fans. We've got the doors open pretty much. Um, just kind of trying to get as much of the smell out. Uh, we went ahead and picked up some like smoke diffusers, so that kind of helps. We've got air purifiers everywhere. Amy and Brandon Shields were delivering for DoorDash when they drove past the 611 while it was on fire. And it's sad to see that, that people's stuff is going up in flames like this. They say they sat across the street and watched the fire department put out the flames. Yeah, when you lose something, you lose a house fire, business, no matter what it is, that's part of your life. Neighboring businesses say when the fire was out, they saw people come by and attempt to steal from the store. I mean, it's already a terrible situation. You've got people that are trying to figure out what they're going to do with their lives, their livelihood, and you've got all of these terrible people that have just decided, hey, we're going to come steal. And thankfully, no one was injured. The fire department says they don't know what caused this fire yet, but they are investigating. And we did try reaching out to the owner of this store, but have not heard back. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.